Is it really true that I had a heart attack? Did it really happen? Well, it's... John Meadows was more than a bodybuilder. He was a legend in the fitness community, known for his incredible physique, unwavering determination, and passion for helping others. John would build a name for himself by attaining his IFBB Pro Card, participating in bodybuilding competition, nurturing other people's talent, sharing his vast knowledge, and literally inventing his own weight training exercise. Through these ventures and many others, he would establish his own legacy. However, this legacy was almost cut short in 2005 and was so in 2021. John Meadows, he has uh, unfortunately uh, passed away. This is the entire life story of the mountain dog, John Meadows. Born on April 11, 1972 in Washington Courthouse, a small town 40 miles south of Columbus, Meadows grew up in challenging conditions. John unfortunately never met his father and his mother died at an extremely young age. As a result of this, John would be raised entirely by his grandmother. Despite these trying circumstances, he spoke very highly of his grandmother and his upbringing. John stated, quote, My grandmother was one of those grandmothers that honestly, even if I were a colossal failure, she'd probably still love me. Meadows would of course later make a name for himself in bodybuilding, a journey which began in 1983. John would frequently go to the local sundry store with his grandmother and sit on the floor in the magazine section, reading the anatomy and physiology articles in Muscle and Fitness. His grandmother was a very well-known cook in their local restaurant, which was a favourite eatery within their community. As a result of this, she would always run into people and chat with them, which allowed John plenty of time to memorise all the muscle names and exercises. John stated, quote, my favorite sections were the kinesiology articles where they showed diagrams instead of photos and explained muscle function. Those articles fascinated me and I suppose that showed that I was really interested in how muscles work and how to get the best out of them. In his early schooling days, John became involved in a variety of sports. Some of his favorites included baseball, American football, track and wrestling. In 1985, at the age of 13, John entered his first bodybuilding contest. In the Mr. Buckeye competition for teens, John competed against three other participants aged between 14 and 17 years. As the youngest and least developed of all the competitors, John took last place in the competition. When describing the experience, Meadows stated, At 119 pounds, I got fourth out of four. I don't really have a lot of recollection on how I prepared for it, other than people told me not to drink water for the last day or two. I remember just having a couple of ice cubes now and then. That was pretty much all the liquid I got. In 1997, John would meet his wife Mary, who was his biggest supporter. In that same year, John would place second in the NPC Physique Light Heavyweight Division. The couple would marry in 2002 and later have two twin boys, Alexander and Jonathan. Meadows had also stated multiple times that he couldn't have achieved what he did without Mary and the support of his family. John would also attain several certifications including a Bachelor in Health and Fitness Management and becoming a Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist and sports nutritionist. In 1999, Meadows would participate in two NPC competitions, first in the Jan Tanner Amateur Heavyweight and Overall in which he placed first, and second in the USA Championships Heavyweight in which he placed fourth. With these new experiences under his belt and a burning passion for fitness, John would take to the forums in the following year. Tragically, his grandmother would also pass away in 1999. Despite being in good health, she suddenly passed in her sleep. John was devastated by the event as he didn't have the chance to talk to his grandmother one last time. He said, quote, It was rough because I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. I was in shock because she didn't have anything wrong with her. She just went to sleep and didn't wake up. John was left alone without his only family to support him, but fortunately had already found a passion to fuel him. Many fans knew John as the Mountain Dog, but how did he get this nickname? In 2000, Meadows started to post on bodybuilding forums to share his knowledge and wisdom. As was the culture of the internet at the time, John decided that he needed a screen name. John owned a Bernese Mountain Dog and subsequently chose the name for himself. On these forums, John would continuously give his views on training and nutrition, and people would write comments such as, well, that's Mountain Dog philosophy. To this point, he stated that, quote, it just kind of started growing on its own. Mountain Dog grew in popularity. In 2011, I established Mountain Dog as an LLC and launched the website. That's when Mountain Dog really took off. 
John would participate in five competitions between 2001 and 2004, with his most notable finishes being first in the NPC Collegiate Nationals Heavyweight and Overall, and third in the NPC Eastern USA Championships Heavyweight Division. However, in 2004 when doing his morning cardio, Meadows began to lose control of his bowel function and continuously had to use the bathroom within five minutes, or else. Confusing and painful symptoms would continue to appear, such as stabbing-like spasms and elevated mercury levels. Meadows stated that, quote, Doctors kept telling me I had colitis. I told them, I don't have colitis. I don't have one single symptom of colitis. It's something else. This confusion remained until such time that John had blood, quote, pouring out of my backside. Luckily, John's wife Mary had taken him to the hospital earlier and refused to leave despite the fact that doctors could find no abnormalities. It was clear that Mary knew something was awry. This would prove an important decision, as John would almost certainly have died if they weren't already there. Meadows would say his last goodbyes to his wife before being rushed into emergency surgery, as he was convinced that he was going to bleed out. However, this would thankfully not be the case, and he would make a full recovery. After he had recovered, Meadows would visit the Mayo Clinic and later learned that he had a rare vascular disease called idiopathic myointimal hyperplasia of the mesenteric veins. After multiple surgeries and several months of recovery, John was finally back on his feet. Despite this massive setback and numerous doctors encouraging him not to, John would continue to compete post-surgery, this being at the encouragement and guidance of another doctor and friend. Impressively, he would attain his pro card 16 years after entering his first competition. John participated in 14 contests, starting with 4th place in the heavyweights at the 1999 USA Championships before he entered the 2015 Masters Team Universe and won the overall to gain his pro card. When the announcer called the names of all the other competitors and John was still standing there alone, he felt his emotions overwhelm him as he realised that he'd won. Somebody sneakily went and got Mary and brought her backstage, which made the experience that much more emotional for John, who stated that, quote, after 16 years of trying for the card, it was an unbelievable feeling that will be really hard to beat. After earning his pro card that night, Meadows would go on to participate in seven further contests, with his most notable placing being third in the Tampa Pro of the same year. John's placings would unfortunately then progressively drop, including a controversial 9th out of 9 entrance at the 2016 Arnold Classic. Meadows would apparently place last due to conditioning, despite being one of the leanest and driest athletes in the lineup. However, these placings would lead Meadows to the realization that helping others was more important and rewarding to him. John stated, quote, To actually make a difference in people's lives is more important than being a figure in the industry. I'd rather be known as the guy that helped thousands and thousands of people and gave back to the community. That means so much more than, yeah, that's the guy who got third at the 2015 Tampa Pro. As such, John would do exactly that and assist numerous professional and amateur athletes to excel in their competitions. I mentioned earlier that John himself created an exercise. I would ascertain that many bodybuilding fans would struggle to name an individual who has achieved this since Arnold Schwarzenegger. This exercise was a one-arm row with a barbell in a landmine base, which later became known as the Meadows Row. John was also involved with various companies including Elite FTS and Iron Rebel. He also started his own supplement company, Granite Supplements, in 2016. Unfortunately, John would be faced with further health complications in May of 2020 as he suffered a heart attack that was caused by blood clots. He eventually recovered, but doctors confirmed that part of his heart wasn't working effectively or efficiently. Is it really true that I had a heart attack? Did it really happen? Well, it's absolutely true. Um, I started feeling some chest pain right in my sternum. It was unlike any pain I've ever felt before. It was very scary. I, I asked him, you know, what's going on? Because I could see he was studying the um, readings on my heart pretty closely. And he said, you're having a heart attack right now. I'm very, very happy to be alive. Um, 
when you're sitting in an ambulance and a guy tells you you're having a heart attack right now and you see the look on his face and how concerned he is and then you think to yourself, boy, this is serious. That wasn't a good feeling. Once again, Meadows would go on to make a full recovery and return to training and coaching full time. However, tragedy would strike just one year later. On the 8th of August, 2021, John Meadows passed away at the age of 49. The news was shared on his Facebook page on behalf of Mary by Brooke Napo. The post read, Dear friends and family, I am posting this on behalf of Mary. This morning, John passed away unexpectedly and peacefully in their home. As you can imagine, this is a complete shock to her and the boys. According to Fitness Fault, he reportedly passed due to a pulmonary embolism. Fitness YouTuber Jeff Cavalier started a GoFundMe to support John's wife Mary and their sons. That, uh, where I think the, the biggest hole though that's, that, that bothers me is as a father, I, I feel for his children. Um, we were both fathers of twin boys. I just truly am heartbroken about what's happened and most of all for those that he leaves behind. This GoFundMe, which raised $259,129 US dollars, greatly surpassed the goal of $200,000 and was donated by 6.4 thousand people. The rallying behind the fundraiser speaks volumes to the effect John had on the fitness community and the world over. Beyond his own achievements, Meadows was and will continue to be known for his generosity and willingness to help others. He mentored countless aspiring bodybuilders, sharing his knowledge and passion for the sport. This unwavering support of others and yearning for his clients and even strangers to succeed is John's legacy as is the family he has left behind. To his wife Mary, and to his boys Alexander and Jonathan, although I didn't have the pleasure of personally knowing your husband and father, he will be remembered for what a great man he was, and you should know that he will be sorely missed by his fans worldwide. Most importantly, I am sorry for your loss, and pray that you have found peace in the years which have passed. In the absence of his physical presence, John's legacy lives on through you.